Before we get started, make sure to turn on post notification and subscribe to the channel. 10 things that need to happen following WrestleMania 35 Number 10 Finn Balor moves to SmackDown Finn Balor has needed a change of pace for quite some time now as things simply haven't worked out the way most people expected upon his return from injury with Balor not even coming close to being back in the Universal Championship picture. It is a shame that Balor hasn't been given a major push again but Monday Night Raw is the land of the Giants with the likes of Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre which makes it harder for Finn to get a look in. However, over on SmackDown, the brand tends to focus on more technical wrestlers such as AJ Styles or Rey Mysterio and there's no doubt that Balor would fit in brilliantly and add some huge star power to the show making this an obvious draft following Wrestlemania. Number 9 Roman Reigns makes an emotional return. Roman Reigns leukemia announcement threw a major curveball into WWE's plans and took everyone by surprise as the unfortunate news became clear and the big dog hasn't been back on Raw since he revealed his condition. However, Reigns has defeated the disease before and there's no doubt he'll do that again. And as he stated, when that happens, he will be back in the WWE ring doing what he does best and that is going to be an incredible moment. The pop he will receive upon his return might end up being one of the biggest in wrestling history and he is certainly going to become a huge babyface that WWE wanted him to be after all this time. Number 8. Ronda Rousey loses the title It is very likely that Ronda Rousey will dominate her way to WrestleMania 35 as champion and that makes perfect sense as she is such a big money draw that you would want her in a future title match on the biggest show of the year. However, while it makes sense to have Rousey as a badass champion, there's also huge money to be made from WWE's perspective by having her chase someone for the championship, potentially as a heel with the four horsewomen surrounding her. There's still a lot to do with Rousey in WWE and after her first loss, the company has the chance to go in a totally different direction which is a gamble that WWE should take following the major mania moment. Number 7. Brock Lesnar leaves WWE A lot of people thought that after his WrestleMania 34 main event against Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar would be leaving the world of professional wrestling, yet here we are starting the build towards WrestleMania 35 and not only is Lesnar still around, he is still the Universal Champion. However, this WrestleMania, it seems like the most obvious situation, even though Lesnar could likely make some huge money from just one or two matches, his focus is going to be on his UFC career and this time, he will leave the company. This this is something that needs to happen as no matter how much of a draw the beast is, with him as champion, there are less chances for other names and the likes of Drew McIntyre or Finn Balor are just kept waiting, something that will change with his departure. Number 6 Johnny Gargano gets called up. Post WrestleMania season always sees new call ups from NXT as some of the best talents in WWE's developmental brand get the chance to perform on the biggest stage of them all. And this time around, Johnny Gargano is likely to be one of those people. Gargano has been one of NXT's biggest stars for the past year, and whether it is working as a babyface or a heel, Johnny Wrestling has proved he's one of the absolute best in the entire world and he belongs on the main roster. With dream matches against the likes of Seth Rollins or Daniel Bryan winning for him, there's tons of reasons to get excited about seeing Gargano on either Raw or SmackDown and after Mania, he'll pop up on one of them. Number 5. Asuka heats up again It has been a roller coaster ride for Asuka on the main roster after a really fantastic start that saw her be the sole survivor at Survivor Series and then win the Royal Rumble, it appeared that Vince McMahon understood the quality that she had. However, things quickly unraveled after her first WWE defeat to Charlotte Flair and the subsequent feud with Carmella was one of the weakest of the entire year and it saw Asuka seriously cool off in the eyes of the fans. Right now, WWE is rightly investing all of its time into Becky Lynch, but after WrestleMania, it will be time to focus on other things and Asuka is likely going to be one of those things, which should see her heat back up and hopefully pick up the women's championship for the first time. Number 4. Sami Zayn returns Even though WWE likes to pack as much into the road to WrestleMania, the company also likes to keep a few things back in order to try and maintain the casual fans who tune in for that time of year, and that tends to be done in the form of returning injured stars. Sometimes, wrestlers return just a little too soon to WrestleMania for WWE to create anything to involve them in. And instead, WWE holds off on bringing them back as was clear last year with Jeff Hardy and the year before with Finn Balor. This time around, the man making his big return from injury should be none other than Sami Zayn. He would be guaranteed a major pop from a hardcore fanbase and this would allow him to come back in the babyface role where he excels the best. Number 3. Aleister Black is the main roster bound. Johnny Gargano might not be the only person 
making the move to the main roster after WrestleMania, as WWE will be ready to make plenty of changes in order to freshen things up both on the main roster and down on NXT. With WWE looking at which wrestlers are ready for the move to the main roster, none stand out more than Aleister Black, who has been consistently one of NXT's biggest superstars and doesn't just have great in-ring ability but also a fantastic gimmick, which Vince McMahon loves. Aleister Black popping up on the main roster would add even more quality to the current roster and there's no doubt he has all the abilities to make a huge impact and given he has done everything there is to do in NXT, he makes a perfect choice to call up. Number 2 Sasha and Bailey finally explode. It has been building up for over a year now, and at this point, we still haven't seen the implosion between Sasha Banks and Bailey, with the pair still remaining best friends, even though everyone wants to see them in a feud. With the rumored women's tag team division set to start around WrestleMania, it would be foolish of WWE to split them up before that happens, as they would make perfect challengers to be in the first match. However, WWE would also be foolish to not use that moment to finally have them explode and start a massive feud building out of WrestleMania with the winner eventually moving on to the championship. Number 1. AOP dropped the tag team titles. Just like Ronda Rousey, AOP are likely going to keep a firm grip of the Raw tag team titles all the way onto WrestleMania now, mainly because the Raw tag team division is so weak that there really is no genuine competition for them. There's no point in AOP dropping the titles to anyone just yet, as it would simply make them look weak when WWE has a chance to create a really dominant team and instead it should wait until after the grandest state of them all. The moment should wait until after with AOP either losing the titles to a debuting team from NXT, possibly War Machine or a big name duo being drafted from Smackdown such as the Usos or New Day.